My brother was a chef. My dad was a carpenter. And I know that I want to be a craftsman. I know that I want to create with my hands and I want to make product. So I come from a small town in the south of France called Bandol. 45 years ago, Bandol had about 7,000 people living there. It's about 8,000 now. So I talked to my brother and asked him if uh, I would be able to do an apprenticeship in cooking. I love to eat, I love cooking, I love what mom does. Uh, I was afraid of carpentry because my dad hurt his finger doing carpentry, so I was interested in cooking. There was no a good restaurant, a good enough restaurant for my brother to tell me, yes, go there. But that was a good pastry shop. So he asked me to try it. I tried it, I fell in love with it. And from that first day that I put my feet into a pastry shop, into the back of the pastry shop and start to make pastry, that was it, fall in love. And uh, that's over 40, 45 years ago. So I did an apprenticeship in Bandol, a couple of years. Then I went to my military time. That was something that we had to do at that time. So I spent one year in the military. Coming out, I ended up in Nice, in an hotel called the Hotel Negresco, beautiful hotel in the Promenade des Anglais in Nice, uh, working with someone called Jacques Maximin. Jacques Maximin was a meilleur ouvrier de France, MOF uh, in France, or best craftsman in his profession. And uh, I, he hired me on the spot and I worked with him for eight years and I became the best craftsman in my profession. That's why I have my color here in 1986, following the step of Jacques Maxima. So after, after this big title, this is the biggest title that you can get into my profession, I decided that I need another challenge. When you're a master, you don't sit in a class. So I say, you know what, let's, let's do something else. I'm going to take a couple suitcases and then I'm going to walk out of France. I'm going to go somewhere. So I did two applications, one in US and one in Japan. Both came back positive. So I decided that I'm going to leave for US. And that was in 1988. And that's when I left France with a couple suitcases. And now it's history. When I came to US, I start in Rancho Mirage in California. I love California. It's beautiful weather all the time. So I start there and I work six months there for the Ritz Carlton. Then I moved to Atlanta for another six months. After that one year, I decided to move to New York. Sirio Maccioni from Le Cirque gave me a call and hired me uh, from Atlanta to come to work at Le Cirque in New York. And Le Cirque was legendary. So I stay almost 12 years at Le Cirque. And this is where I learned what, what America really loved, what America really is, de la crème, de la crème of the city. I mean, that was such an interesting place. I meet kings and presidents and, and Hollywood people, and that was, that was an amazing place. So I stay here almost 12 years. And then after that, again, looking for another challenge, looking to turn another page of my life, I decided that uh, I'm going to open a business. Uh, not knowing anything about management or how to rent a space or what, I just want to do it. So I put myself in it and, uh, and here I am 20 years later of running Jacques Torres Chocolate. So the, the, the story with Ken is very interesting. Uh, Ken was working with me at Le Cirque almost from the beginning. When I left Le Cirque, I asked him if he will come with me and start this adventure of Jacques Torres Chocolate and he was good for it, so he said yes. So Ken came with me and start working with me in, in, the, in our company, Jacques Torres Chocolate, 20 years ago. I was basically looking for a better job. Better means challenging, challenging job. And I came from Providence, Rhode Island, New York City, because La Cirque was one of the best restaurants for dessert. And that's, uh, I met Jack. He told me, he was very busy that day. 
and he told me, um, if you can start work now, I'm gonna hire you. So um, that was 30 years ago. And uh, after 10 years working together at the research, we both decided to open up a business of Jack Toness Chocolate. I was born in Tokyo, outside of Tokyo, and um, I came to United States as an exchange student in high school. I always like to do something with my hand. During high school time, I met a bunch of uh, older than me, but they were really into rock climbing. I loved, I loved rock climbing. I got sucked into it so bad, and I was very good at it. My body was small and flexible, and that was perfect for rock climbing. Rock climbing taught me a lot about how to concentrate my mind into just one thing. So that has helped me in the pastry work and also in my life in general to put 100% concentration on what I'm doing now. A uh, technique I was employed at Providence was more closer to cooking, more with the instinct. Working with Jacques, everything was very much exact and very much was a science. Dumbo store is the first one we opened and everything was handmade, meaning all the construction we did it. Uh, few of our friends and Jack and I, we did the uh, drywall, the plumbing, painting and everything. We had no money when we start. We decide that we're going to put some of our retirement money, which was not that much, but we're going to build the first manufacturer on ourselves. We're going to um, do the painting, do the carpentry, we're going to do all those things. And we really physically paint and put the sheet rack and straight up the floor and do all those things before we open our first manufacturer. We opened with no light, no cash register. Cash register was an empty tin can. And the first customer came in and we made the first sales. We did the happy dance. We are so happy people actually came to our store and buy our uh, product. So imagine that I know Ken more than, more than my brothers. Ken is my brother from another mother, from another father, from another country. We got, both got married from this company. We both built our family from this company. So this company really is the core of our heart. We really have that uh, deep connection, working all the time together. And I think Ken is one of the people who know me the best in the world, maybe more than my wife. I think you have to find a passion for what you want to do. I like good chocolate, I like great ice cream, great pastries, so what I do here makes me happy. So I met my wife years ago uh, when she was actually working for us, working for Ken and I uh, in Brooklyn. We see that she was good at what she was doing. So we offer Hasty the position of chef opening to open the, 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 the second manufacturer that we opened in downtown Manhattan, in Hudson Streets. So Hasty did that for almost a year. Uh, that was a very successful uh, space. And then Hasty, at the end of a contract of one year, left back to California. And that's actually when we start dating. So we had a long, uh, long distant relationship. Um, years later, we get married. Asti moved to New York. Uh, and then we had a family, Pierre, who is uh, now almost four years old, and Jacqueline, who is uh, a little bit over one year old. It's so much fun to have a family, and Hasti helped me so much with the business now. Hasti actually is the COO of the company. So I, I always laugh about that saying, you know, I used to be a boss, now she's my boss. But uh, I love to have a boss like that. 20 years ago, I was in front of a table and I was making things. Now we've nailed it. I kind of make fun of people but the nice way, nobody's crying. Uh, someone going to go home with $10,000. And I try to teach, I still try to give good advice and to tell people, the viewer, look, it's okay. If your cake doesn't look perfect, it's certainly good. So don't worry about it. Have fun in the kitchen, keep trying, and you will become good with time. You know, I'm a 
over 60 now, and I try a lot of different things. I love to paint, I love to draw, I love to do some mechanic, I love carpentry, I love to do a lot of different things. And I have to say that when I really put my head into it and I really try hard, then I would succeed, I would be able to do things. Anyone can do it. You have to enjoy it, you have to give it the time, you have to have fun in the kitchen. I believe that anyone can bake.